Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Bible says in 2 Samuel, Child of God, hear ye the word of the Lord. The book of 2 Samuel, chapter 22. In verse 31, specifically, the Bible says, As for God, as for God, your God, our God, the Almighty God. The Bible recorded, As for this God that we serve, His way is perfect. Mm. His way is perfect. In other words, there is no imperfection in Him. He said, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. Which, is, which means it is tested. The word of the Lord is tried. Another version we said tested, you know. And he is a buckler. Another version we said he is a cover. Because I'm reading from King James. He said he is a buckler. In other words, he is a cover. To all them that trust in him. I don't know if you are getting it. The word of God that you carry. That you are standing for. Has been tested. Has been tried. And that word. Is a buckler. To you. To you. That trust in him. That word that you carry, that you are holding on to. God said you should know. It is a cover. Because you trust. In the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody, you are someone. That the enemy have checked. When I mean checked. They have checked you very, very well. They have checked you very, very well. <laughs> they have observed you very, very well. They have monitored you very, very, very well. You know, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, you know, <laughs> sometimes when I hear the word of God in my spirit, I'm like, ah, Jesus was also a very funny man as well when he was here. He said, verily, verily, I tell you, <laughs> you know, verily, he did not say, oh, I'm just telling you, he said, verily, verily, you better hear. <laughs> Unless a man be born again, cannot see the kingdom of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I, when I just use the word, they, they have checked you, they have checked you very, very well. They have tested you very, very well. They have tried you very, very well. But the truth is this child of God, they find out something that there is a covering around you. What you speak has been tried. Yes. What you believe has been tried. You cannot be a true child of God and not be tried in the spirit. I am telling you, is the reality. Many people might not want to hear this. If you are a child of God, if maybe you are a minister, the moment you say a word, you need to understand that there are spirits, there are powers, there are people who worship other things that, that are seeing you. They will go and try you to see if you really know what you are doing. To see if what you are saying is true. To see if your, if your situation is really guaranteed with God. But they have tried and tried and tried. What they keep seeing 
is that there is a covering around you. The place where we read made it clear. For those that trust in God. Those that trust in God. You know, you might not even know how to serve God rightly. But you, you are just serving God. You are serving God to, your, to the best ability that you can. You are just telling God to help you. That is to say you trust in him. So when you are being tried and tested in the spirit, his word become a cover for you. He said he is a buckler. It is not about how bony you are. Oh, you are bony. You know everything. You know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. No. It is about how much you really will, you are willing to know this God. God, I don't even know how to pray well, but I know you are there. My faith is failing me, Lord. I don't know how to have a very big faith, but I trust I know you are there. When God becomes all that you know, even when you don't have that kind of a big faith. You know, there are people that don't have faith. Because they don't have faith, they go to other places. There are two different things I'm saying here. You understand? It is very important for us to have a strong faith. I know. But there are Christians who are struggling with that aspect of their life. They know God is. They believe in God. They want to know him. But they don't even know how to have this faith. But they are not living the way of God and said, okay, let me go and look for another power. These ones, God knows. That is why he said in your weakness, his strength is made perfect. He knows that these ones, I am the only one that they have. They don't even know how to honor me well, how to serve me, but I am the only one. They don't have, they are not missing dirty water with clean water. Hallelujah. The Bible says that his word is a cover for to them that trust in him. There are different ways we trust in God. There are people who, who have this strong faith. Yes. That is why the Bible talks about the meek. Talks about little children. He said, when you are supposed to be eating meat, you are still drinking meat. You understand? So there are people who are really grown, who are strong in faith, who can tell you that, no, we have this big faith. There are some who will tell you that they don't even know how to have faith. But they are trying to hang in there because they believe that there is God. So God is not a wicked God. Both the ones that are drinking meat, the ones that are eating fish, the ones that are eating meat, the ones that are breaking bones. If all of these ones that are nation is only God that they have, God will cover them. The ones that are naked are the ones that said, okay, I don't have faith. Let me go and clothe myself with another thing. Can you understand? These are the only ones that became naked because they have left that place of covering. Hallelujah. Somebody you are in the place of covering. Your faith will grow. Don't judge yourself because you don't have that. You are not breaking bones. You are still drinking meat. Don't judge yourself. Don't judge yourself and don't condemn yourself. Or you are still eating small, small meat when you are supposed to be eating a very large portion of meat. Don't judge yourself. As long as you are not missing uh, dirty water with that little faith that you have, hold on. You are being covered. While you are there, you are telling the Lord, I don't even have a big faith. He will build it for you. He will make you see things that will make their faith to, faith to grow. He will reveal things to you. He will hold you and you will become strong. Everyone that are breaking bones today, if that, that are not saying, ah, oh, I cannot break bone. When I, I'm talking about faith, they were once in that position where they did not have enough faith. To even know what to do. But they just know that God was there. So everyone started from a place. 
Never you judge yourself. I need you to understand that though you are being checked, though you are being tested in the spirit, they keep finding out that there is a covering for you. I pray, I pray that the word of the Lord that is tried, that is tested, continue to be a cover for you. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.